Hi, it's Tanya and welcome. So the tutorial that I'm going to be sharing with you today is supported fish. And this is more for a yin yoga class. Um, however, it is just a lovely stretch that you can give yourself um, if you feel like you're quite tight or maybe your neck is a little bit sore, then it's a good stretch for across the chest and the shoulders. So if you have got yoga uh, blocks, and I highly recommend getting them, they're not super dear. Um, on eBay and Amazon, you can get little bundles and they're not too expensive. Uh, so they are worth getting because it makes your practice a lot easier. So different options for supported fish. Now having the block that way, so up in that position, is quite high. And for some people isn't going to be the best position. Uh, so you can have it flat. So you can have it that way is a little bit tamer. Now if you don't have any blocks, you can just take a cushion and you're gonna roll the cushion and you'll have the cushion and you want your spine along there and your shoulder blades to come to the side. Okay, so you would be in um, with a cushion like that. So I'll just put that over there. Your other block or some more pillows, you're either gonna have that way. If you're going to work with the block high, then that one will go up over there. Okay, so. Um, I tend not to teach the full fish all that often in my classes just because a lot of my clients have got shoulder problems, neck issues, so I always revert to the supported one where it takes the weight out of the shoulders. So your block wants to be between the shoulder blades, so where your bra strap is probably somewhere around there, if you wear one, it wants to be around there and then between the shoulder blades. Okay, so it's a bit awkward to get onto this. So you're gonna lie down on your elbows. <laughs> Find my block first. And then your other block, you're gonna bring it towards the head. So with the fish pose, the legs are straight, okay? Your hands can either be under there or you can just relax them there. Now, if you want to, and you haven't got any issues with your neck, you can make that a little bit further back, okay? So the actual fish pose is the head would be on the floor. So it is throwing the head quite far back, which for me personally, I don't like in my neck. Um, this is probably as far as I would take it for myself. And then we would just hold that position. So you can take the chin up, but for me personally, um, my neck is quite stiff and the muscles are quite tight. So what I actually want to do is stretch them off. So if I'm going to do this, I tend to try and tuck the chin towards the throat a little bit and it doesn't feel very nice. So I want the back of the neck to be longer because if I, throw the, if I put the chin up, it's just exacerbating any tightness that I have in the, in the back. So I need to just uh, stretch that off and then we'll be in that position okay supported fish pose so you might feel how open this feels across the chest your shoulder blades might be dropping towards the floor a little bit so you might feel the shoulder blades on either side of the block and then you would stay there for a few minutes and then to come out of it I like to take the head use your hands to lift the head Elbows go underneath you and then you just push yourself up. Supported fish. <laughs> so it's the same if you're going to be there. So I tend to like hold the block where I think it should go. Bring yourself onto the elbows. And then it can't, might not feel comfortable, but it will feel right. So if you have the block too low, it does hurt the kidneys or your lower back. It's like, oh, that's actually hurting. That means it's in the wrong place. And then your head would be there again. So this, although uh, this one's a bit tamer, because the block is a bit wider, it doesn't give the as much chest opening. But it's still much nicer than um, doing the proper one. <laughs> and then the legs will be straight. So again, because we tend to be in that kind of shape all the time, I tend not to have the hands there because it puts the shoulder into an internal rotation, so, and it brings the shoulders forward, most of us need 
there's chest opening so I tend to turn the palms facing upwards and then relax in there so we may do this in a yin class um, and then to come out I like to just lift the head and then elbows onto the floor and then pushing yourself up and that is supported fish so um, take care and I'll see you in a class soon